hello guys and welcome back so let's go now to our otp screen here and uh, uh, complete our code so let's open otp screen here in the otp screen we need to pass in a verification id let's say final string verifi verification id Here it needs to be required. Verification ID. And then down here, let's also initialize a nullable string, which will be our OTP code. Let's call it as a SMS code. And then down here where we are in uh, the on on completed once we complete uh, adding these let's uh, call our method our new method which is going to be our our verifying our verify otp so here on completed before we are printing but now let's set state let's uh, get our sms code sms code will be equal to our value and then right after we set this down here we need to verify our otp here so let's create that method for verifying our otp if we come down to let's remove one of these down here we can say void verify verify otp let's also give this some required arguments let's say build uh, I don't think we need to pass a build context here. Let's uh, let's just pass an uh, OTP string OTP code, or let's say, uh, or let's let's add it as required. Sorry, let's add it as required. string otp I mean sms code that's what we're calling it and then uh, in here let's also initialize our auth repo which will be our provider of uh, context let's uh, import our provider package authentication provider we also don't want to let's say context and then listen to be false like that and then um, what else do we need here let's uh, now we need to run the the method to verify so let's come back to our authentication provider right after this method let's create another method which will be our verify otp let's say void verify otp let's now require our context required uh, build context context we we'll also require a verification code uh, a verification id let's require a string verification id that's another string
SMS code. And then what else? What else do we need? Let's uh, maybe take. Oh, we need the function. Let's uh, just uh, format this. This function will be on our on success. Let's format this. And then uh, let's add an async keyword here. Okay. And then down here first we want to set the is loading our is loading property there to true and then we will notify the changes here let's now wrap this into a try catch block of course we we'll say on firebase exception yeah let's catch the error Here on exception, first of all, we want to set the is loading to false. We have because we are finished here. Let's uh, notify the dataset changes. Then we want to show our snack bar, which is the same e dot to string. Okay, and then inside here. We will say phone auth credential. Phone auth credential will be equals to phone auth provider. This one dot credential. And then let's uh, take this down here. And then on the verification ID, we will take our verification ID. On the SMS code, we will take our SMS code. Let's put a comma here and uh, close it out. Then after that is done, we will say user, which is nullable. User, which comes from uh, Firebase, is going to equal to our wait our firebase auth dot sign in with uh, credential then we get our phone auth credential here like that and then this would be a user we'll close that one out and then now here after we sign that we check if user if the user is signed in if user does not equal to now which means user is signed in we are going to assign our user id on top here to the user id that we've got here say user or we say user dot uid now we assign our user id on top there and then let's notify the changes and then next we will call on our on success function up here so once this is successful we are going to go our on a success function here and then everything else is done let's also set back our easy loading will be equal to false and then is successful this one will be will be clear to you in the next screen our is successful this one will also now when uh, when is loading is uh, is false we are going to call our is successful to true i mean let's set our is successful to true now it's successful so this is our method let's also just notify these changes so this is our method to verify the otp 
and then if we come up here we see that we've got an error because we added the verification id so just remove this constant keyword here then here you will type verification id let's put our verification id there and then the error is gone we can put the commas there and then now when we go back to our otp screen here let's uh, see where we are calling our method now here let's say auth repo dot verify otp now we have called our method and then the verification id we know where we are getting the verification id this one we are getting it from widget dot verification id the sms code is coming from here and then uh, on success it's a function so on this function that's where now we decide on what we are going to do so if this function is called which means we have successfully uh, verified so if we have verified successful what we want to do is to go to our uh, user information scheme so we say navigator dot push then here we say material page route uh, context we say user information screen this one we can add the const mod constant keyword here so if if we have successfully logged in i mean uh, verified we will go to the user information screen so now to use uh, our the uh, uh, is loading is successful let's come back up here where we are after here below the pin put so now uh, also we need to call our verify otp here let's call that method so the sms code why are we so this we need to add a now check like that so we are calling this method and then here after after our otp screen let's maybe change this to 25 and then here first of all let's go back here and initialize our auth provider but we can just come down here and copy this And then also here let's initialize it we can say final uh, yeah we we can initialize it like that and then now here since we want to listen for changes let's move this uh, we can either say listen to true or we can remove all we can we can remove this but let's leave it like that and then now down here here where we are um, after the the pin put here after the sized box here let's have a check so let's say auth repo dot is loading if it is loading let's show a secular progress indicator so for that we'll do constant of secular progress indicator let's give it our accent color colors dot orange accent so if it is loading let's show that and then in the else statement now uh, let's uh, show the constants of uh, sized box dot shrink let's minimize that okay so this is what we want if it is loading we'll show this if not we'll show the 
size box so to test this one out let's uh, let's come back to our authentication repo authentication provider i mean yeah uh, here let's uh, change this to true so let's hot restart we need to stop the application and uh, run it again so let's stop it and uh, run it again okay the application is running let's just wait for it to load <coughs> 